<laughs> uh, quick discussion of kingdoms. Tomorrow you have a quiz, and on the quiz you're going to have to be able to compare characteristics of the different kingdoms that we have. So if you look at page one in your journal, you're going to see all those kingdoms set aside from one another. Your picture looks different than the picture up here. Notice that you have six kingdoms on your page, but here we only have five. Why are there only five kingdoms on this page, but six on yours? Mr. Toole. Because um, scientists discovered that there are two different types of bacteria instead of just one kingdom, that there are two different ones. Great. So these Monerans are now split into two separate kingdoms. Can I name the kingdoms? I'm just curious. Go ahead, Mr. Jarre. The archaea and U bacteria. The archaea and U bacteria. So quickly, I want to talk about bacteria only. Can you give me some characteristics of bacteria, both archaea and U bacteria, that all bacteria share? Characteristics that all bacteria share. Give me one. Um, all bacteria are prokaryotic. Great. All bacteria are prokaryotic. What does that mean to be prokaryotic? By the way, they're prokaryotic and nothing else is. That's important. That sets them alone by themselves. What does it mean to be prokaryotic? Grunia. They don't have membrane-bound organelles. They do not have membrane-bound organelles. How about cell walls? Do they have them? Yes or no? LeGro. Yeah. And they're made of peptidoglycan. And they're made of peptidoglycan. Thank God, because that's why our antibiotics work. Great. The only thing that we need, then, is an example or two of a bacteria. Can you give me any example of a bacteria? Go. Uh, e. coli. E. coli. Great example of a bacteria. Any others? What? Strep throat. Yep. Strep throat caused by streptococci. How about the photosynthetic bacteria? Anybody remember the name of the photosynthetic bacteria? You will be a YouTube star. What? Cyanobacteria. Cyanobacteria it is. Great. A little summary of bacteria. Learn more at www.basescience.com.